Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Malyala, a final year undergraduate student at NIT Varangal. So this video is all about marks versus percentile versus rank for JE mains 2023 session 1 mainly. I think most of you have given the session 1 and yesterday, February 2nd, the NT have released the key as well as the response sheet. I guess most of you have checked your score. So now you will be having doubts what percentile you are going to get, what rank you are going to get at that percentile or at that marks, with that marks. So by the end of this video, I'm sure that if you watch this completely, you are going to get a clear cut idea how much rank you are going to get, how much percentile you are going to get. So it's kind of uh, based on previous analysis. So we'll be discussing all that and I'll be clearing all your doubts related to marks versus percentile versus rank for JE Mains 2023. And guys, uh, only 9% of uh, the people who are watching my videos have subscribed to my channel. So other 91% people, come on, please do subscribe. It's just free for you, but that can create a lot of confidence in me to create a uh, few more videos which will be really helpful for your uh, JE journey or other entrance exams if you uh, wanted to write for engineering. So without taking much time, let's get into the video and I hope you all will do that for me. Chalo. Now that you got some idea how the JE mains exam will be, how the actual paper of JE mains will be. So now you should practice more for your session 2 so that you will score more better marks compared to what you scored in session 1. So like in your revision, you must include the mock test, writing mock test every three days. If you use this particular two months properly, you can improve your score by a lot of margin. If you want to know the importance of mock papers, please watch this video on my channel. You'll understand why I am stressing on mock papers. And if you want to write mock papers, there is this book called Oswald Books, JE Mock Test 15 Sample Question Papers. So the paper pattern will be similar to JE Men's. To, um, and similar to the level of JE mains. So you won't be feeling any difference between the level of the actual JE main and these papers provided in this particular Oswald books, JE mains mock test papers. So if you want to buy this book, please check out the link in the description and uh, you can buy from there. Apart from mock papers, they also have uh, like uh, latest solved 2022 papers uh, for two shifts, smart answer key with detailed explanations, subject wise and chapter wise trend analysis for your uh, easy preparation and cognitive learning like mind maps, mnemonics, appendix, blended learning with print and online support, valuable exam tips, tricks, suggestions and shortcuts. All these things are included in this particular one book. So these are the mind maps for every topic they have given mind maps. Uh, you can buy from Amazon as well as the official website check out the links in the description so now talking about uh, the most awaited thing marks versus percentile so like at a particular mark for example uh, let me talk about my case in 2019 so i got 196 out of 360 so as the paper was for 360 i got somewhere around 196 if the paper was for 300 then i would have got somewhere around 163 right so at 196 of out of 360 i got 97.2 percentile if the same paper was for 300 marks, I would have got somewhere around 163. So I would have got 97.2 percentile. So this was my score in 2019. Of course, it changes every year, every shift and all those things will be there. So let's discuss all those and uh, let me talk about 2023, 2023 session one. After checking your score, I hope most of you people have checked. If you didn't check yet, go to your uh, dashboard. I'll just leave the link in the description. Click that, log into your dashboard, check your response sheet and also check your key and do correction. At the end, you will have a score, right? Calculate the score. And now I'll show you the marks versus percentile thing so that you will clear out all your doubts. So for according to me, I feel like in order to get 99.9 .9 percentile, so 99 percentile, so it can be around the paper, I mean, uh, marks can be around 285 out of 300. So it can be plus or minus 5. So it can be 280 to 290. Whoever gets that score, surely there will be 99.99 percentile like that. Okay. And uh, if you want uh, like uh, aiming for somewhere around 99.5. So if you have marks somewhere around 255. So this can be around plus or minus 10 again. So this depends like it, it changes so this is my expectations so whoever is having somewhere around 255 plus or minus 10 so that that can be 245 to 265 in that range so surely you can get 99.5 uh, so whoever is having more than that more than 99.5 you can expect so talking about 99 percentile so 99 percentile i am expecting uh, the marks to be around 185 to 200 and 98 percentile my expected expected cutoffs would be 173 so that is my 98 percentile whoever is having 173 so you can expect that you can get around 98 percentile 
so for 97 percentile uh, so i would say somewhere around 155 would be the score uh, so whoever is having somewhere around 140 so you can expect 96 percentile for 95 percentile whoever is having around 132 marks so you can expect 95 percentile and for 94 percentile whoever is having around 123 something like that so you can expect 94 percentile and for 93 percentile so whoever is having somewhere around 117 so th that can be like 93 percentile and for 92 percentile so somewhere around 105 can be 92 percentile and 91 percentile would be around uh, 100 in the range of 100 and coming to 90 percentile so it can be around 87 to 93 so this is my expected uh, like marks versus percentile so just check your score and just try to do approximation so these are my approximates these are not exact data these are approximates okay so this can be differ from the actual data again don't shout on me please so these are just my expectations so this is what i am expecting for this year 2023 Twenty twenty three J E session one. So now you may have, you may be asking like how can we expect our rank at that particular percentile? Okay, by a I got one uh, around one ninety two. So that is mean that means I am getting ninety nine percentile according to your expectation. What can be my rank? Okay, so. See guys, uh, I just wanted to uh, give you some approximate data and I just wanted to show you some like uh, tell you some stories. Uh, so I just wanted to give you some approximations uh, for the. percentile versus percentile versus uh, rank okay so in one percentile you can take around 10000 to 11000 people will be there in one percentile so that means whoever is getting 100 percentile there is a high chance that they are going to get first rank so if there are 6 to 7 people so like 1 to 6 ranks will be given based on their uh, tie break rule so they will be getting 1 to 6 ranks So now whoever is getting 99 percentile, how much rank they can expect? So that's what I am saying. In one percentile, I like I approximate it to be around 10,000 to 11,000 people. So that means for 99 percentile, you can expect 10k to 11k rank. Okay. So this is all India rank, not the category rank. Whoever is getting around 97 percentile, so 30k can be your approximation. So those who are getting 90 percentile, so your rank can be around 1 lakh 10,000 something. so something like this okay 90 percentile so like that so for 94 you can 94 percentile you can say 60k 60k rank around 60k so for 92 percentile uh, you can expect around 80k so these are my approximation so like this so first compare your marks and check the percentile which i have given expected percentiles and now that percentiles you have you have that percentiles in your mind right so just convert them according to this particular approximation so you will be knowing the uh, like range uh, in which your rank, rank may be lying uh, finally so that's how it is so i hope you got a very good information out of this particular video and uh, i'm like it feels really good to be back so now it's totally in your hands guys please do share this video to all your friends who have written je mains and who are planning to write je mains in session 2 so this video is going to be really helpful for them too so so that they can plan their things accordingly so that's it for this video if you find this a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind